Susan with Kiwi Lane Designs and in this video I'm going to talk to you about our ring set. Our ring sets are a lot of fun. You can use them on multiple layouts. Um, you can use them on boys, girls, Halloween, um, vacations, weddings, and they'll look great on those layouts. Um, but we do get asked all the time how we cut out our ring set. So in this video, I'm going to just share with you some simple tips on how we cut out our rings because we're all about keeping things simple. The ring set does come with four different sizes, as you see here, so there are plenty to play with when you're designing your layout. Now, there are a couple different ways that you can cut out the rings depending on the design that you're making. So, for example, if you wanted to use it just as a circle, basically you would just trace out the outside of the ring, and then you would just go ahead and cut that out, and you would have a circle to use on your layout. If you wanted to use them as an actual ring, basically what you would do at that point is then to also trace out the inside of the ring like that, which will give you a ring that you can go ahead and cut out as well. Now one thing I want to point out is that we do love to use multiple rings on our layout. And the great thing is that each of the rings do fit inside of each other, so it makes it really easy to cut out the different sizes um, to use on your layout and a really efficient use of your paper as well. So you could just trace each inner side of the circle and then you would have multiple rings that you can cut out. Now when we go to cut them out, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a pair of scissors and we like to use um, a nice small pair of scissors that has a sharp tip. So that's always helpful. And to start with, I'm just going to go ahead and get it out of my big sheet of paper, like that. And then we're just going to follow that outer edge circle, the largest one, and just follow that pencil line and cut all the way around it. And you'll notice um, that when I do this, we'll have that circle that we were talking about. So again, if you wanted to use them as circles, which can be a lot of fun, you would just um, trace that outside edge of the ring, whatever size that you'd like to use. Now, if you wanted to use them as rings on your layout and you wanted to use it so that the full ring was showing, um, the best way to go about doing this is just to go ahead and start your cut using an X-Acto knife, kind of like you see here, what I've done. And you just need to go about three to four inches and if you're really comfortable with an X-Acto knife, of course you could finish the rest of your cut using your X-Acto knife, but I personally prefer just using my scissors, and so this just allows me to be able to get in with my scissors and finish my cut. And so at that point, I would just um, follow those lines, the pencil lines, to cut out that big ring, like you see here. So really simple, and of course if you have any pencil marks or blemishes, um, that's where the inking is really going to come in. And you'll do that of course after you cut everything out. So that will give you a full ring to use on your layout if you'd like. Now say you want to have it tucked in, so for example you'll see a lot of times in our samples we use them as either half rings or we use them um, kind of tucked in to something. So for example, see how that's kind of tucked in behind the photos. And then also we have some samples where it's just kind of coming up behind things. So what's great about that is that um, it makes it cutting even more simple if you want to include this in the design of your layout where it's not necessarily a full ring. Basically all you need to do at that point is just snip right in to the inside of the ring and then, of course, follow your line and complete the cut at that point following the outside of the small circle. So, for example, we now have a ring, but where we snipped in, either you can um, cover this with a tiny accessory. So, for example, maybe pull one of these in on your layout and it covers completely that spot that you cut. Or, if you'd like, to use them as half rings, maybe tucked into a border or something, then of course you can use them as two halves on your layout as well. As you can see, the ring sets are a lot of fun to use on your layouts and they're really simple to cut as well. Now you can see a lot of samples on our website at KiwiLane.com or you can even look in our idea books if you have them. Um, each of the idea books do have a section specifically for the ring set. 
Um, so you'll see a lot of different ways that we use the rings. Ideally, we like to just snip into the rings like I was showing you and then cover the spot. So for example, you'll notice that each of our rings are either using them as a half or like you'll see here on this layout, um, again, prop, um, we're just covering it with a tiny accessory where we snipped in to our ring set. So a lot of ideas um, in our idea books. And if you guys have any questions, make sure to talk to your KiwiLane instructor or you can email us at customerservice at KiwiLane.com. Thanks for watching.